Welcome to the One Community Earthbag Village walkthrough. This is a walkthrough of the first of the seven sustainable village models One Community will be constructing and open sourcing. Everything you see is modularly replicable and it also all runs on renewable energy. These structures are net zero water saving bathrooms that integrate the best water saving technologies and collect and store all the rainwater they need to function annually. Walking down the wheelchair access here, this area forms a small amphitheater. The surrounding area seats about 200 people and is purposed for hosting outdoor music and presentation events. On the left and right here are the heat recycling community shower structures. These also run on 100% renewable energy, recycle the heat from used shower water to reduce the cost of heating incoming water, and include reuse of all gray water for irrigation. Beneath these structures are storage rooms. Now let's take a look at the central tropical atrium structure. This structure that occupies the middle of the village is a recreation and relaxation space, presentation and classroom option, and food production structure large enough to grow full-size trees. As we exit the building through the north, we pass two public vermiculture bathroom buildings. These bathrooms will use worm farms to turn solid human waste into compost while recycling liquid waste in gray water. Again, everything you see here, the housing, the water-saving restrooms, tropical atrium, the vermiculture waste recycling toilets, Everything is being open sourced for easy do-it-yourself replication and it's modular so you can replicate just the components you're interested in most. Walking around the right side of the vermiculture bathroom here, these structures also integrate a traditional septic so they can be easily permitted. Once soil tests prove the safety of the vermiculture though, we'll be working with the county to build versions that don't need a septic system. On the right of the tropical atrium here, you can see another of the heat recycling communal showers. Now let's visit the rooftop patio for the tropical atrium. This area is designed with seating and space for reading or dining and designed to offer sweeping views, as you can see, of the entire village and surrounding area. It is also large enough for a medium-sized birthday party or other scheduled group gathering or event. Walking around the central village walkway now, there's the net zero bathroom again on your right, and now we're walking through one of the residential areas. All of these are living structures. They are built affordably, sustainably, and can be replicated with little or no construction experience. They can be built above ground like you see here with the wheelchair accessible homes, or partially in ground like you see here with this six dome cluster. There are also three dome clusters. The cluster designs can be enclosed to create multi-room residences too. Now let's take a look inside one of these structures. The structures come with custom furniture that is open source and DIY replicable too. Here you see the Murphy bed designs with the bed down. That's a ceiling mounted 65 inch flat screen TV option that lowers by remote. In the back is a his and hers changing area with lots of storage and there's also a large overhead loft storage area. Built in fold down side tables offer additional options for seating. Now let's look at the same furniture, but with a Murphy bed folded up. This is what that looks like. And as we go around the side here, you can see the same storage, loft access, and fold down side table option and ceiling mounted TV, but with the TV up. The Murphy bed furniture we've designed offers a third option too. Built into the bottom of the Murphy bed are a fold down table and two benches that you can see being used by the people here. Look back at the last section of this video, the part with the guy doing push ups, and you'll see what these components look like when folded up. These folks chose to forgo the ceiling mounted TV, but it would fit just the same. We have another primary open source and DIY furniture option also. This furniture design replaces the Murphy bed with two twin beds and double desk space. There's a closet in the center, and you can see the overhead loft storage access here. This space is designed for children, students, interns, visitors, or as an office space addition. Combined, all this creates the complete Earthbag Village. Designed by our nonprofit and 100% volunteer team, radically sustainable, all open source, all DIY replicable, affordable, modular, scalable, and the first will build of the seven sustainable village models we have planned. 30% of this village will also be available for eco-interested visitors of one community, so you'll be able to stay in one of these structures if you'd like to visit us.